According to Dr. Dan Siegel, understanding and awareness alone can't prevent disruptions from occurring with your children. There are no perfect parents. He says the challenge we all share is to embrace our humanity with humor and patience so that we can relate to our children with openness and kindness. Continually feeling shame about how we've failed at parenting our children will actually act as a barrier to us being in healthy relationship with them. Maybe you've found yourself having reacted to your child's behavior rather than responding. Maybe you've used unkind or inappropriate discipline. As soon as you've calmed down and realized this, it's time to apologize. Set a mature and respectful example by owning your actions and acknowledging how that might have made your child feel. How often do we accuse our children of being self-centered, only thinking of their own feelings? So maybe I say, hey honey, I'm really sorry that I yelled at you like that. I didn't eat lunch today, I was feeling kind of grouchy, I'm sorry. This argument we had, I know we can handle this better. Do you want to come and grab a snack with me? Then we can start over. This doesn't mean I'm excusing bad behavior, if that was the issue. It means that now that I'm regulated, and now that I've repaired our relationship, I'm going to say calmly, hey, when I got home from work, you were pretty rude to me and that's not okay. I'd like to talk about it. We know from science that brain development is relationship dependent. When we apologize to our children, not only are we setting a really important example, we're putting relationship first and together in this interaction, good chemicals are released in both of our brains that will facilitate positive feelings and new neurological growth. So remember, modeling respect and humility by apologizing to children when we've made a mistake actually strengthens our relationship in a deep and powerful way. An apologizing parent is a powerful parent.